authentic authentic see okay I love the fact that Bokumi Oluwa Shino didn't say Nancy came from US or she came back from the UK. You know, I just love almost everything about this movie. This is me wishing you a Happy New Year! Welcome guys to my channel. It's 2022 and this is me Moyo Foro Lua Fadero. Thank you all so much for staying with me even when I didn't put up any review. It's so funny that in the last um, one and a half years it was so unfortunate that I could not produce my reviews like I used to but I'm still grateful that the ones I've had up on YouTube people have been watching people keep subscribing and they even put up comments and I'm so grateful to every one of you and I'm grateful to God for bringing all of us back into the year 2022 I know I've been away for some reasons because I wasn't sure of how London reviews should or would progress and um, it was responsible for me not putting up those videos not because I've not been watching movies although I, I specifically reduced the rate at which I've been watching movies but you know I just wanted to know what was in there for non reviews why I should keep doing it you know even though you know that non review stands for moral and quality videos quality movies because I know that we have the gift right but anyway guys thank you all so much for consistently supporting me I've had a lot of people ask me questions why I stopped reviewing movies when am I starting back when am I coming back and all of that even my husband I wouldn't say he has forsaken me <laughs> but when I mention I need to make a video you'll be like mm, or you will just cough you know this is 2022 and the first movie I'm reviewing is actually a 2021 movie. But man, Okumi Oluwashino brought me out. Did you see that movie? Jankari Wopats 1, 2, 3. I saw this movie. I actually watched it with my husband. And in a long time, my husband made a statement. You wanna hear? He said that this lady is talented that in the three parts we watched we actually did not really see any irrelevancy I applaud Bukumi Oluwashino you know there is this thing they, they say uh, Tenoko how, how do they say it's back? I can't remember now but it's like Tenoko <laughs> that is what Bukumi Oluwashino delivered with this Jakari Wo man she did a great job but you know how it is what is a production without a good director right and i must applaud the tele the icon as well i'm happy with this generation of uh, movie creators so. <laughs> anyway let's be more serious but i will applaud the work of Bukumi one more time she did an awesome job nobody even me Ah, I didn't see it coming. I didn't see that third part ending that way. Ah, and then I saw the Ausa girl again, resembling him, resembling Igo Biliki. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, there is something we say. There is a difference between talent and delivery, right? There are two different things. But when both of them now come together and intersect, you have substance and I just thank God for the gifting that Bukumi Oluwashino has you know yeah she doesn't do a lot of movies like produce lots of movies but I've noticed that the, when she does it once in a while it's for a reason and I actually sat back I paused each of the slides of the epilogue I sat back to read and something drew me which is true why is it that most people especially youths in diaspora they are afraid of coming back home there is something wrong with our motherland but how do we make the change it's so sad on one side but brilliant on the other side 
that Nigeria could be depicted with this kind of story. You know, like this is like a real life story. <laughs> like real life. That is what I can say. This is a real life story. And I like the way each of the characters delivered. I actually loved the fact that everyday issues were incorporated into the story. Like in your stepfather. Or we can still call him a stepfather even though she was actually kind of like adopted but she still he, he, he was still in your stepfather because he in was not their direct child right they could deal with her anyway even though we know that in this present life even parents that give her to children directly they still do so now let me quickly make a few points about the overall movie. The characters they delivered, each of the characters they delivered out the shoulder. Uh, Femi Adebayo Salami, Kumi, Uluwashino herself, you know, Odulade, Adekola, all did fantastic. Latif Ade Dimeji. In as much as we might not have the answers to the things going on in our motherland, why don't you do your own part? By staying true to your creator, by being good, by taking the right path. The camera angles were on point. The story itself is a real life story, it's a real life situation. We can relate, um, very relatable. The characters and Nancy. Nancy did awesome. I love the fact that Bukumi Oluwashino didn't say Nancy came from US. Or she came back from the UK. You know, I just love almost everything about this movie. The, I love how authentic the story was and the characters were. And being able to act more than one role, I was re I was on um, Bukumi's profile and I was reading some some of the things she had to say about her director. She was like she 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 really loved that our director understood where she was coming from and where she was going with the story when she narrated everything to him she was happy that even when she was not delivering like even when she was not up to par with her with her role with you know with, with, with her role her director was able to push her to do more so what are we talking about jankari war parts one two three if you haven't watched it i want you to watch it and give me a comment down below if you've watched it what do you think about this movie what do you love which of the characters did you appreciate so much you know most of the things that i read in the epilogue i could really relate some of them drew me in because they are just the truth you know we are scared of, of people are scared of speaking out People are scared of coming back home because they don't know what they will need. People are scared of trying to help. But I would also say that I feel personally that the bedrock of most of these things starts with greed. It starts with greed, you know. As much as it is good to plan for your family, not to the detriment of the country, not to the detriment of people around you. I really love how Bukumi Luashino delivered this movie. She did it in her own way, with her own resources. I pray God bless you more. I pray that the giftings that God has given you, you continue to use it in the right way. This is where I'll stop today. This is my first review in 2022. Let me know what you think. <laughs> okay, guys. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, this might be a good time to do so. I promise that and I will try my best to keep bringing you reviews. But not based on popular demand. Though. It will be based on my conviction. <laughs> Please allow me. <laughs> it will be based on my conviction and based on what the review stands for moral quality yes those two things and it's 2022 and it's just those two, those two things and let me know what you think about this review let me know 
if there's any movie you think I should watch or I should talk about, put it in the comment section down below. Till my next video, thank you all so much for watching. Remember, God loves you. Bye.